Sonic Prime Season 2 is out. So, how is it? It's fine. I want to start this video out by saying that I'm not a Sonic lore guy by any means, which is the reason why I haven't really talked about the characterization side of things on the channel that often. As long as the story is an interesting plot and there's good animation, voice acting, and music, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be invested. Well, Sonic Prime has at least two of those. Since I never really made a video on Season 1 of Prime, I want to quickly go over some general stuff about the series, but you can skip this part if you just want to get to the Season 2 review. First of all, the action scenes in this show are absolutely incredible. The animation specifically sells it really well. Even with a TV budget and time constraints, they still manage to make it look really sick. Can we please have this for the games? Something I've noticed though is that the animation is quite inconsistent. While some animation looks really smooth, there's also some jittery animation here and there. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like the in-betweens are very quick and then they draw out the keyframes. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. The characters' designs are also really good. I really love all the subtle differences there are within the designs of the characters. I mean, all the characters have a really cool new fur pattern that I honestly love to see in the games. And Amy and Rouge are wearing slightly different clothes, which is nice. Now, I also want to quickly go over all of the voice actors here. First of all, Devin Mack. Somehow, I don't know what to think of him. I mean, he is quite an improvement over Roger Craig Smith, but I don't think he reaches the highs of Ryan and Jaleel. What? If I didn't say Jaleel, I meant Jason. I'm sorry. Jaleel's still good though. He really feels like a Sonic fan voice actor. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm the only one who feels this way, right? He feels like a guy who's doing an impression of all the Sonic voices he grew up with instead of developing his own voice for the character. As for all the other voices, I'd honestly replace the game voices with these in a heartbeat. Knuckles has had better voice actors in the past, but honestly, I'd have him over Dave B. Mitchell any day. Tails, Amy, and Rouge specifically sound really good. But obviously, we can't replace Mike Pollock. I mean, he's the man. I'm not gonna have this stupid baby face voice my Dr. Eggman. I also think that the general plot of going through different shatter spaces is quite interesting. The only issue I see with it is that it makes the characters pretty dull, because they're all based on one specific aspect of that character. All the variations of the Sonic cast all feel very... Flat. I mean, they all have one character trait, and that's pretty much it. And there's not really too many cool interactions that Sonic has with them. The only thing I can think of is Sonic interact with Nine every now and then, but even then, Nine is, like, pretty annoying half the time, too. So, I think the original characters that they made are just boring. So, now that you're caught up, let's get to the part of the video you've been waiting for. How is Season 2? Well... It went in one ear and out the other. Okay, don't get me wrong, season two increases the stakes heavily, but for some reason, I didn't feel that invested. It's so weird. It has all the building blocks that it needs in order to be a really cool Sonic show. I mean, you have the shadow spaces, you have the new voice actors, you have all these different characters, but somehow, I didn't care as much? I it's really weird. Let's talk about some of the good points though, because the action scenes are a lot cooler in season two in my opinion. You often see the camera pan around and swap between different characters in one long shot, and these scenes are just amazing. All these new enemies that the Eggman are making also increase the stakes heavily and make the fight scenes a lot more dramatic. Wait, Sonic Prime, is that the wrong form of it's? Don't worry, Sonic Heroes did it too, you're good. I also really loved Chaos Sonic. I like that he's not literally just Metal Sonic, which I was worried about, because now it's a different character and they can do different things with it. Wait, who's Super Sonic? Chaos Sonic's fights are sick as hell, but I'm not sure if I would have preferred a silent robot. It would have definitely been much cooler to have this dead, silent robot like Metal Sonic that is just deadly destroying him, but it's also more unique to have this, so... I don't know. Pick your... Cure. I would have said poison, but Metal Sonic's pretty cool, so... I just really like the idea that the Eggman finds Sonic so annoying that the copy that they make is very, very obnoxious all of the time. Now Prime Sonic finally understands what it's like. No, seriously, Prime Sonic is so annoying. I don't know if that's the point, but... No. Sonic has some MCU-ass dialogue here and there, and it just... I don't know. It rubs me the wrong way. You're gonna turn, right, Dread? Right? People on Twitter have made the point that he's very, very stupid and- Sonic, Sonic, Knuckles can glide! He did it just now! You don't have to save him! Yeah. Failure? You've got the wrong hedgehog, pal. 
No, he doesn't. Yeah, Shadow is actually a really cool character here. I mean, I wish he was on screen for longer. He's like the Squidward to Sonic's SpongeBob. You know what I mean? Like, he's the straight man. I can respect him. I also really love Shadow's voice. After hearing Kirk Thornton for so long, I needed a refresher. Okay, these subtitle guys can't be paid normal wage for this. What is this? So yeah, action scenes are cooler. Chaos Sonic is really cool. Let's move on to the negatives. Okay, they're not really negatives, but just things that I find a bit lame. Like, for instance, the music is still quite uninteresting here. I mean, it's a TV show, I wouldn't have expected movie quality or anything, but... I mean, the Shadow song was pretty memorable, so why can't any of the other music be just as sick? Okay, I wasn't crazy, right? This scene, this scene wasn't rendered. I don't know how to feel about Sonic having this whole character development thing, I mean... He works really well as a static character, but I guess since it's a TV show, they felt the need to make him develop. I don't know. I guess we'll only enjoy the show in, like, season 5. You know, you'd think the Chaos Council would be smart enough to program Rusty Rose to not take revenge. It's weird, though. I can't really pinpoint anything that I genuinely thought was, like, really awful about the show. But I just wasn't that interested in it. So, that's Sonic Prime Season 2. I don't know if it's just me, but I found the events of the show to be quite predictable here and there. There are a lot of moments where there's like big drama and suspense, but the predictability just kind of killed it for me. The voice acting was pretty decent though, Devin Mack is quite a cool Sonic. It's nice to have a little break from Roger Craig Smith after hearing his voice for so long. What if I told you there's a bunch of Sonic voices that you've probably never heard before? Well, to know about that, you should watch this video on Sonic's voice in every language.